These pilot whales should just be left alone. They don't need to be killed. People don't like it when they see blood. No, it's not pretty to watch, but it's easier to go to the supermarket and buy a beef without seeing the slaughter. Whale hunting is a thousand year old tradition here, known as the Grind. It's the killing of pilot whales and some white sided and bottled nosed dolphins, none of which are on the endangered list. We were not eating whales. That means that we had to eat more of other meat. This is an uh, environmental friendly uh, way how to uh, feed ourselves. For the Faroese, the Grind is simply about using what nature provides, but not everyone agrees. The Sea Shepherds, one of the largest marine conservation groups in the world, have been coming here since the 80s to protest against the Grind. Their approach has been to block and disrupt the hunts. But after many arrests and a legal ban stopping them from getting involved, they now post graphic images on social media to show what happens at the Grind. There hasn't been a Grind while I've been here, so I want to talk to Sea Shepherd volunteers Sarah and Wayne, who saw one 10 days ago. Are you happy to show me what went on that day? Yeah. I kind of focused on that particular pilot whale at that point, and the pilot whale was really, really struggling. So they made numerous attempts to use the spinal lance and you kind of saw the blood come out. They just kept going back and like cutting more and more into the pilot whale and they say, I think it's a couple of seconds, isn't it, that if the spinal lance is used correctly, but it has any studies been done about how correctly it is being used and is, is anyone monitoring this? I mean, we've seen dolphins and pilot whales have been left in the water kind of like in a spasm. It's probably the most difficult thing that I've ever had to do, really. For her, it's very straightforward. There's just no place for this. But we also need to bear in mind that, you know, this is not our country. This is not our culture. Some would argue this is not any of our business. Hello. How are you? Hi. Do you get fresh eggs every day? Yeah. yeah. So it's really good. Have you ever helped your father um, slaughter the sheep? Yeah, I have sheep myself also now. You do? Mm -hmm. I killed one last year all by myself. How do you kill a sheep? You shoot it. Really? Yeah, with like a spear actually thing going on, straight into the brain. Oh, wow. Boom, it dies. Right, straightway. got you. Yeah. How involved do you like to get with the grins? So I never killed a whale. I'm almost mostly on the sea. But when we cut the meat up, so was me and my brother Heine. We cut the whale up and do it into parts. Do you eat the meat yourself? Yeah, I love it. It's really good. Why do you think there is so much outrage and so much resistance? People don't like it when they see blood or animals getting killed. It's like, no, it's not pretty to watch, but it's easier to go to the supermarket and buy a beef without seeing the slaughter. Because there are people telling you what to do, does that make you dig your heels in even more? I think so, with especially the younger ones. At my age, also a little younger. Like, I want to be a part of this, a fairies tradition. We are fairies people. So, yeah. We've been sent footage taken by the Sea Shepherds. So if you're happy to watch it, that would be really useful for us. These are dolphins. Yeah, and this is the dolphin. So we see him using that instrument. Yeah. And then we see another guy with a knife. We're 50 seconds in and it's still alive mm. and he's soaring it's thrashing. near his neck yeah. and it's still yeah. alive. And I've been told time and time again that, you know, the animals don't suffer and, you know, it's very humane and they're dead within seconds. And this just contradicts all of that. I, I agree with you that that's not a good example and something, uh, this is not as effective as it should be. Is this cruel? It looks cruel. I can see that um, for people who haven't seen the images before and don't understand the context. There can be too much suffering for individual animals in some cases, but it is a slaughter of wild animals in an uncontrolled environment. So it's never going to be completely clinical, like uh, it might be in a, in a slaughterhouse. 
just because something is part of your identity, part of your culture, does it mean that you can still use that to justify, in some instances, torturing and killing mammals? Sure, it's a tradition, but it's a form of food production. You have to remember that. It's a local resource. It's part of the diet. And it, had it not been a part of the diet, it wouldn't take place. It's as simple as that. It's not a sport. It's a way of getting food for the family. There's things I just can't get on board with, you know. The fact that we've been told this instrument, you know, there's so much research and so much has gone into making sure that the kill is over within seconds. We know that's not true in every instance. If we are taking life, we need to make sure that we're doing it responsibly. Anything else is totally inexcusable. The Faroese government wrote to us, saying, the spinal lance is not as effective on white-sided dolphins as they are smaller in size than pilot whales. The plan is to design a smaller spinal lance for dolphins, and this work has begun. <laughs>